Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Leprechaun 2. Now, Leprechaun 2 came out in 1994, and this, of course, is the sequel to Leprechaun, which I just did a review for, and um, this one I actually like a lot better than the first one. Um, I actually think this is actually a better movie than the first Leprechaun movie, and... Um, you know, one of the reasons for that is I actually like some of the characters in this a lot more than I liked them in the first Leprechaun movie, and I actually kind of like the storyline a little for this a little better than the first Leprechaun movie. Now, of course, it's not a great storyline. I mean, you know, it, and it pretty much is just as ridiculous as the first Leprechaun movie, but um, the thing with the first Leprechaun movie is really all that was was a movie about a killer Leprechaun. This one seems to have a slightly more interesting storyline than the storyline of the first Leprechaun movie. Basically, the movie begins 1,000 years ago in, Ar in Ireland, and um, what happens is... Uh, Basically, the leprechaun on his 1,000th birthday, which apparently is on St. Patrick's Day, tries to claim a bride. And basically, what in order to claim a bride, um, he needs to make a girl sneeze three times. And if she sneezes three times, he'll basically um, her soul will belong to him. And basically. Um, you know, unless somebody says, God bless you, before or after, or right after she sneezes the third time, her soul will belong to him. But what happens is, um, basically, uh, after, after uh, this girl sneezes three times, the girl's father, who, as it turns out, was a slave to the leprechaun, said God bless you, and basically that, um, saved her soul, basically, from the leprechaun, and so what happens now is a thousand years later, um, basically the leprechaun is now going after the reincarnation of that girl who he tried to claim as his bride a thousand years earlier, and basically what happens in this is it's set in Los Angeles, and basically the leprechaun kidnaps, um, the girl who's the reincarnation of the girl who, you know, like I said, he tried to claim as his bride a thousand years earlier, and he brings her back to his lair, and basically now the girl's boyfriend and his uncle now have to save the girl and destroy the leprechaun, um, and that's basically what the story is about, and for the most part it is a ridiculous movie, um, you know, but at the same time I felt like this one did have kind of a better storyline than the first one did, um, you know, and also I liked the characters a little better than I liked the characters in the first film, because in the first film I thought most of the characters were really just annoying, like, the only character from the first film I really liked was that mentally challenged guy, um, Ozzy, from the first film. But, um, in this film, um, I actually like some of the characters, especially the kid's uncle, um, uh, the girl's boyfriend's uncle, whose name is Morty in the film. That character is freaking hilarious, like, he's an alcoholic, and there's actually a scene in the movie where that character and the leprechaun get into a drinking contest at this bar, and I shit you not, a scene like that is in this movie. Um, because like I said, it's a horror comedy, so, um, you know, it's not a serious movie, but the storyline I liked, I actually kind of liked, and, um, you know, but at the same time, it is pretty much just as ridiculous as the first one was, um, like, uh, you know, like I said, there's a scene in the movie where a guy, where the guy gets into a drinking contest with a leprechaun, so that shows you that they're definitely not making Citizen Kane here, but, um, you know, but I think it's a really fun sequel, and like I said, I actually like it a lot better than the first one, um, you know, uh, what, what else can I say about this movie, um, yeah, that's really all I can say about the movie. Um, now, I will say one thing about the movie is there's kind of a continuity problem with this in the first film because the first movie ended where um, basically um, they killed the leprechaun with the four-leaf clover, but um, 
This movie begins where the Leprechaun comes out of a tree, and also the first movie was set in uh, North Dakota. This movie's actually set in Los Angeles, so they don't tell you how the Leprechaun came back or how he ended up in Los Angeles, but um, you could assume that this is um, a different Leprechaun than the Leprechaun in the first film, but they don't really explain that, and throughout the whole Leprechaun series, there are all these different, like, uh, continuity problems, but yeah, that's Leprechaun 2. Um, like I said, if you're a fan of the Leprechaun series, I mean, I would recommend it, but obviously if you're not a fan of these movies, you probably wouldn't like it. So that's it, and bye.